friends. It's me. Do you notice I got a new desk? So my hubby doesn't have a use for this desk anymore. It has so much more storage. I'll insert a photo here so y'all can see my little setup. Um, we have a very large uh, living and dining open area. So I've kind of created a little office nook that I use for working at home. So I have my work computer here. I have all my planner stuff here, all my crafting stuff here. Um, and so it really works out great for me. Um, and I think that it looks better for you guys too. I think it's a better setup. Um, I am filming at a different time of day when there's better lighting as well. Um, so hopefully y'all will enjoy. Um, let's get on to the video, but I will put a couple pictures in here of um, my new little setup and some fall decor that I did yesterday. Have y'all set up for fall yet? I was too excited. So here's some pics. Alright, so now let's go on to the video. We are going to be planning in my Hobonichi event 2022 and I am using this as my wellness planner. So um, I have the sections labeled as important, which is the perpetual calendar, monthly, weekly, and there's another week for this week, and then daily. And I'm gonna show y'all how I set up the bones of my week in this planner and also how I'm using it so far. So we are going to set up, I've already done next week. So we're gonna set up the week of October 1st. And I really want this to be um, all the fall vibes. So, what I'm doing is I'm using my Simply Smith stickers daily kits for the daily section, and then I'm kind of matching that to the weeklies. So let's find a good kit for the first week of October. Oh my gosh, why are these not in any semblance of order? Goodness, okay. This is the one that I was thinking I want to use. It's kind of like purple and orange pumpkins and leaves and coffees. So this kind of gives me like early October vibes where this is more like full on spooky season. So let's use this kit. So what I've been doing is, let me show you a previous week. I've been taking some of the washi in the kit in matching it to one of my Coffee Monsters Co. Cause I just think that's cute. Um, so let me see, I have this purple one, perfect, from Coffee Monsters Co, which is like a self-care washi that will look so cute with those leaves. So let's do the weekly section first. I've been keeping this real simple. I put some washi at the top. How is y'all's week going? My week is so good. I'm finally not sick anymore. Um, also, I want to talk to y'all while I'm doing this about some upcoming videos that you're going to see of mine. Um, I am going to do an update of my reading journal and show you what I've been doing in there. That's just a Kate Spade journal. Um, it's a lined notebook that I picked up at Barnes & Noble. And I'm really enjoying planning in there and I'm caught up in it. Um, I'm mentioning that in this video because reading is part of my health and wellness. I've noticed since I started reading more again that it is another thing that helps with my anxiety. So that has been going great. Okay, so as you can see here, then I, I pair, now you don't need to have a kit, but I just have a two page little mini kit from Simply Smith Stickers. And that gets me through the week and the dailies. And I'm finding that if I already have them set up, then I definitely fill them out. I hope this reaches all the way. Ugh, it doesn't. I feel like it did reach all the way before. So what's up with that? I must have used something different, but anyway, let's just um, 
You know what? I'm not gonna stress over it. Let's put a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker with a pumpkin and just move on with our life. That's how I'm treating this planner, okay? Some people are really like, um, which is okay too, but really perfectionist about this planner, I've noticed, but that's not really necessary. You can just do your own thing. You don't have to be like everybody else, and you can do a really simple setup and have it look cute. In fact, I think this planner looks better the more simple you make it, just my opinion. So how cute is that together? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so then another thing that I've been doing is putting my weight tracker down here in the corner, which is a little scale sticker from Fox and Pip. So I'm using this as my health and wellness planner. On this weekly, I am tracking my meals. Not calories, just my meals and my weight for the week. So let's get a purple. Oh, hoo hoo. This is called light peach. What? They're calling this light peach. Okay. Well, it's lavender to me. That's what I'm going to use it as. Um, so I'll write my weight for the week there. Over here, I use some of these little flags and I just put like two or three and then I put my health and wellness goals for the week there. Cool. And then I'll put some other little lines and sometimes I'll just write in like a motivational quote for myself or an affirmation. Then on the days, let me show you a previous week. I put some lines down here for my workouts. So let's go ahead and do that. I just do it very haphazardly, as you can see. You, you don't have to, you can take as much time as you want with this, um, just like any other planner. But if it's for your wellness, then it shouldn't stress you out, right? That's my mentality. So. Um, I think that's super cute and so it's only the 12th right now so you can see um, today I actually this is yesterday the 12th I did not eat very well today or yesterday um, today I just had coffee and a Dr. Pepper and canes for dinner so I didn't have any lunch. I wasn't feeling great. So I didn't eat anything. Um, so if I get hungry later, I'll have like a snack of fruit. Um, but like yesterday I had Sonic and Starbucks. So for dinner, I just had watermelon and then I had a um, snack later of Skinny Pop. Um, and then I had another snack later. So I kind of regretted not eating dinner yesterday. And I had just a few Triscuits and cheese. So that's what I ate yesterday. And I had that quite late, so maybe that's why I wasn't really feeling hungry for lunch. I don't know. But anyway, you can see I haven't been doing great with my workouts either. Yesterday after work, I moved around all the office and living room furniture. And I couldn't make up my mind, and it took like 50 years to move it. So um, I counted that as a workout. And then today I was so sore from it that I didn't do any workouts. So I will get back on my couch to 5k tomorrow although this isn't going to be accurate um this is going to be day two for week four and then week four day three and then i might catch up on sunday to make sure that i keep the weeks going but anyway i put my workouts down here and i put my meals up here just you know and then i put one of my goals for my wellness was my fall decor and you might be asking yourself how is that your wellness but for me if i don't seasonally make changes in my home and do like almost like a spring cleaning every season and give myself something new to look at a new direction out the window or like something i find myself becoming very whole hum and stagnant and so it really does affect my mental health so keep that in mind this fall season you don't have to spend tons of money maybe you just want to go to dollar tree and get a couple little pumpkins to put out or move around the stuff that you already have repurpose the things that you already have stuff like that so anyway Sorry for the side note, but here is the week for the 26th and that weekend is October 1st and that's just adorable. So then what I do is I go back here to the daily section 
Let me give y'all an example of today. So today is Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I did buy too much though at Home Goods, so I put that sticker down. <laughs> Yikes. Um, so what I've been putting in this box is my workout, but I'm just gonna put two sore today, and then I'm gonna do some highlighter, and I'm gonna write um, on it very sore from moving all the furniture. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna put another little note and say with an arrow, it was worth it because I love it. Okay, and then um, at the bottom, I usually write affirmations for myself. So I am going to draw, oh wow. Sorry for the noise, I don't know what fell over there, but um, I'm gonna draw a drop shadow box and use the same Ohuhu, which is called Putty. And I'm just gonna write, um, since I kinda rested today, I'm just gonna put rest is a form of self care part because I don't want to beat myself up over that. Um, so this is how you can see I've been setting up the week using this little mini kit. There's tons of little washi strips and boxes on this page and then there's the days on this page. So it just works out perfectly for what I'm doing. These pages, I tried something else, but I don't really like it as much. And I did add a couple of Happy Planner Fall Vibe stickers on the first week of fall there. But now we're gonna start with the week of the 26th. Um, so I'm just gonna show you two example pages and then I will speed it up so that y'all aren't bored out of your gourd. Do y'all agree with the, you know, spring cleaning? moving stuff around like does it i mean it is stressful while you do it so let me let me start there yesterday when i was doing it i was like oh my gosh why am i doing the most like i could have just put out a couple pumpkins but when i got done i was like oh my gosh this was so worth it like absolutely so worth it um and i was just so happy that i had taken time to do something for myself and then my family came home and they were like, oh my gosh, we love it. My son was like, I was getting so tired of the current setup, but I didn't want to complain. Oh, <laughs> he's so sweet. And I will tell you, it is um, impartially due to us having similar upbringings. Like we both, when he was uh, living with his mom before she moved him around a lot. And when I was growing up, I had the same situation going on. Um, and so when you've moved a lot and then you start staying in one place, it's soothing to you to be able to stay in one location, but you also get bored with stuff really easily because you're used to a lot of change. So, um, I will say it's, let's put some lines. Like I never know what I'm going to write on these lines. Okay, guys, like you just sometimes... I write how I'm feeling. Sometimes I write an affirmation. Sometimes I write something I did that day. Sometimes I give myself encouragement. Like, I just do whatever. But this is the vibe. This is, it's so simple. I'm gonna put me another folly sticker on here. That's a little um, fall emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. Drinking the little fall drink. And then let's get the purple washi. And I'm just gonna kind of layer it there. Boom. Really simple. So um, let me fast forward and do the rest of this week's setup and I'll be back.
Okay y'all, so that is how I am using my health and wellness journal. So I'll give you a slower flip of um, the week of October 1st. We'll start with the weekly so y'all can see again how I matched it up. Here's the weekly. And what I do when I get on the week is I put a clip here so I can flip quickly from the weekly to the daily. Um, and you can use an Ollie clip or a big paper clip or whatever. Um, so this will be used for my meal and um, workout overview. And then on the daily pages, I put affirmations, gratitude, um, anything that's helping my mental health, any struggles that I might wanna journal about. And then here's a flip of the week. I don't really like how these hearts came out, but I don't really know how to fix it. Let me try a different logo though. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna look a little bit more, I don't know, messier looks better because I can't draw for crap. So, okay, I think that helped, but don't be afraid to draw. Let's draw something else, you know? I used to think like, oh, if I'm going to draw in here, you know, then I'm not going to do it because I can't draw. But you know what? Just it's fall. So let's make a little purple leaf. Maybe just some dots around it. And I'm just going to very messily. I mean, I don't know. I, I think... For me, doing it more messily and quickly, it just comes out better. I'm not sure if that's right, but um, I mean, I don't know. I'm just taking a chance and drawing things here and there. Let's draw on, um, let's see if there's another blank looking page. Oh yeah, let's draw a pumpkin over here with this orange. And then I'll get this brown and make a little stem. And maybe some little curly cues coming off of it like that. Well, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not great at drawing, okay? So, I'm gonna do another heart since I did a heart on that other page. And I do the little swatches behind stuff. See, that came out even better. So I think the more that I practice, the better these pages are gonna come out. Um, I would like to get my doodling better, so, and my hand lettering, but I haven't started practicing with the hand lettering yet, but let me know how y'all are liking um, my wellness planning so far. What can I draw over here? Maybe like a, what can I draw besides a pumpkin or a leaf? Maybe a mushroom. With some polka dots. Sorry for the background noise. Family keeps living their life, you know. Um, and now I'm gonna do a... I will say the Hobonichi pages are great if you want a watercolor or draw. That's kind of what they're made for. So you don't have to worry too much. Maybe I'll try another mushroom down here. Do you guys draw on your Hobonichi? If you do, I hope it comes out better than mine. <laughs> I am not an artist, but I would like to try to be. Not for a living or anything, but just for the sake of doing it. Why am I putting so many hearts? 
Well, because that's something I know how to draw apart, okay? <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, I think it turned out okay. I wanna try to make that part peach, but I'm scared to draw over it and ruin my marker, so. In a perfect world, I would color that part in peach, but it's not a perfect world. So just do whatever you want with these pages, guys. Draw when you feel like it. Don't when you don't. I mean, the world is your oyster. But I do think this little two pages from Simply Smith stickers really gives me like enough. And then adding other washies, whether you like Coffee Monsters Co. or just random ones that you have that you want to use up. Um, it just gives me like a good jumping off point. Over here where it's a new month, um, I'm not real sure what to put there yet. I have some Happy Planner stickers. This one's called Seasons of Color. And I think I have some pretty cute fall stickers. Like, look at this. And that really matches with the purple and orange. So let's put that down. Oh yes. That's beautiful. I really like that. And then let's write, try to hand letter October. Okay, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna try to draw a banner and then write October in it. Y'all, I don't know how this is gonna go because I said I can't draw. Look at that. I know it looks crappy already, but let's put a drop shadow. Drop shadows help everything look better. Right, look, it already looks more okay-ish. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna write October with this orange. I just really like the color of this orange Zig Clean color dot called Island Coral. I'm gonna write October with that. Oh no, didn't space it too well. Okay. And then I think I will get a black, once it kind of dries, it looks very wet. Oh yeah. Once it dries, I'll take my black lip pen drawing pen and write October over that in cursive. Um, let's see if it's ready. Uh oh, now I have to make that look intentional. <laughs> oh God, that was not a good idea. Let's see if I can salvage this. Okay, I think that looks cute. And then I think the only thing that's gonna help is if I go around and make a bunch of dots to cover up those fingerprints. Okay, so there we go. My wellness journal is set up for the rest of September and the beginning of October. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.